Are you looking for the best gaming keypad? In this video, we will break down the top gaming keypads on the market. Starting off at number 1, we have the Razer Orb Weaver Chroma Elite RGB. It's no wonder that the Razer Orb Weaver Chroma Elite RGB is the best gaming keypad in 2020, even though it initially released in 2015. Razer's proprietary software, Razer Synapsis, lets you customize the color, color pattern, reprogram the keys, or just about any customization you could hope for. Additionally, the Orb Weaver has full RGB backlighting, which means each key is individually backlit and fully customizable. Unlike a lot of keypads, the Orb Weaver proudly boasts a complete implementation of this feature. As soon as we got it out of the box, we could easily tell that the material is worth what we paid. Interestingly, we didn't just find this helpful with most games, we also found it useful for productivity and content creation. In fact, we found a lot of professional content creators use this to make their workload smoother and faster. Instead of having to press Ctrl C to copy and then Ctrl V to paste, it can be done easily with two keys by mapping the buttons respectively. The 2012 Razer Orb Weaver uses Cherry MX Blue mechanical switches, while the 2014 Razer Orb Weaver uses brown and green mechanical switches. This means you get a clicky sound, however. We know some people are annoyed by the clicky sound, that's why the Razer Tartarus is the next entry in our list. In terms of ergonomics and comfort when gaming, this provides all the adjustments you need to secure a very comfortable experience. Not only can you adjust the wrist rest to be closer or further away from the keys, but you can also adjust the thumb buttons so it will sit perfectly in line with your thumb. And also, the bottom of the keypad is made of rubber to keep the orb weaver in place. At number 2, we have the Razer Tartarus Chroma Expert RGB. The Razer Tartarus Chroma Expert RGB is a popular but expensive option. If you aren't that fond of mechanical keys, but still want a premium Razer Orb Weaver, then this might be the gaming keypad for you. This has membrane keys that give you a less noisy tactile experience, without compromising the premium benefits. It has just about the same physical features, but with a more solid wrist rest. You can only adjust the wrist back and forth however. Because this has fewer keys than the Orb Weaver, gamers with smaller hands can easily navigate through and press all the keys. Even with the Orb Weaver set to the smallest adjustment, the Tartarus is still more convenient for gamers with smaller hands. Unlike the Orb Weaver, this only has partial RGB customization. Instead of being able to customize individual keys, you can only choose one color for the entire board depending on the profile you have selected at the time. While you can set the keys to toggle or rotate between colors, this doesn't provide the RGB experience that most modern consumers expect, especially at this price point. Razer Synopsis, the software you use to customize the colors and reprogram the keys, can be a little annoying to mess around with, especially if it's your first time. And like the Orb Weaver, you also have an 8-way thumbpad that offers more options to do keyboard mapping and customization. At number 3, we have the Logitech G13 Programmable Game Board. It's very comfortable and the entire layout is made for gamers. Luckily, we have a colleague who has actually owned one and used it for nearly 4 years, so we interviewed her about her personal experiences. She's a hardcore WoW player, and she's never imagined playing without using a gamepad. With the Logitech G13 having 22 programmable keys versus Razer Orb Weaver Chroma's 20 and Razer Tartarus's 15, this is the preferred for many hardcore MMO gamers. The LCD display is capable of showing a lot of things. It can show your character stats, the current music you have playing, or even your CPU and RAM usage. While the display is pretty cool, it can be hard to find an actual use for. Why constantly check the display when you have the actual game in front of you? The keypad also comes with a 4-way analog stick and hotkeys that you can set. If you're a hardcore MMO player, this should definitely come in handy. Moreover, you also have the option to change the backlight color into 16 million different lighting colors. Keep in mind though that this only has a partial RGB backlight, which means you can't map each key as different colors. Our colleague used this for hardcore MMO gaming on a daily basis and started to notice minor problems after a year of intensive use. However, it worked for 3 years and 8 months before finally kicking the bucket. The wrist dress can't be adjusted, but it does have a nice rubbery texture to keep your wrist in place. At number 4, we have the Razer Tartarus V2. As the name suggests, the Razer Tartarus V2 is the upgraded Tartarus. You can see at a glance that this is very much similar to the original Tartarus, but with a few differences here and there. Let's start with the two most obvious differences you can't unsee, the number of keys and the scroll wheel. Aside from having more keys, the Tartarus V2 utilizes a rather different set of keys. These aren't the ordinary membrane or mechanical keys, these are the Razer Mecha Membrane keys. It's essentially a combination of both mechanical and membrane keys. It gives off the tactile feel of mechanical keys, but it does so silently, like a membrane key. The full RGB light can be adjusted respectively with the use of Razer Synopsis, just like the original Tartarus. This gaming keypad with joystick also has another unique feature, a scroll wheel. 
We found this great at first, but after a while the novelty wore off, and we preferred the mouse scroll wheel for in-game functionality, and only ended up using it for volume adjustments. The wrist rest of the Tartarus V2 can also be detached. This is something the original Tartarus can't do, and it can be adjusted into two different positions, to suit your preference and comfort. If you have a smaller hand, remove the wrist rest and place it closer to the keys. Alternatively, place it further away from the keys if you have a larger hand for best comfort. To top that off, the material of the wrist rest is also covered with a leather cushion. One flaw we found in the ergonomics department is the fact that this has more keys than the original Tartarus. Some of you may find this a plus, but gamers with smaller hands may find this a negative, since they will have to extend their fingers to reach the new set of keys. Despite having more functionality, it's surprising that this is actually cheaper than its predecessor by nearly $50. And for our final pick at number 5, we have the Deluxe T9. It may be the cheapest on our list, but this actually offers double the function. Technically. Here's why. You'll notice there are two red keys at the bottom of the keypad. These are space keys, and if you're wondering why there are two of them, it's there to accommodate not just the right-hand users, but also the left-handed users. Lefties will finally be able to play games conveniently. Although you have a whopping 46 keys to play with, it doesn't really give you the functionality you'd expect, since some of the keys aren't easily accessible. For instance, it's cool that it has the four WASD keys, but one analog stick can do the same thing while freeing up other fingers, which is invaluable. The placement of the keys aren't really accommodating, since you have to move your hands to actually press the keys. Also, these aren't programmable keys, which will completely defeat the purpose for many gamers. In fact, this is more like a one-handed gaming keyboard than a gaming keypad, which is alluded to in the title of its Amazon listing, so saving for a budget keyboard might be a viable alternative. This does have a comfortable wrist rest, but unlike many other candidates on our list, these can't be adjusted. Even though this does not have an LED backlight, like the others above, you can still play games in a dark or dim room since the keypad is illuminated, which you can adjust from low to high. The build is surprisingly solid for the price, and it has a large number of keys to make sure you don't miss any keystrokes while gaming. Overall, this is still worth getting, especially if you are on a really tight budget. So that sums up our top gaming keypads of 2020. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.